busy town. Lots of things to do and see. It's so much fun to be a part of busy town. We'll keep your spirits soaring while we're exploring our busy world. The Busy World of Richard Scary. And that's how the reporter got the picture and wrote the story called Mr. Frumble Rides the Melons. Miss Honey, how did the reporter know that was going to happen? Reporters always keep their eyes and ears open because a big story can happen anywhere, anytime, like this fire. I never read the newspaper before. A lot of stuff sure happens in busy town. I want you all to look for a story that we can print in our school paper. But remember, a good story should be unusual. Huckle, we should follow Sergeant Murphy around. I bet he sees lots of things happen. No, we should go down to Busy Bay. Or better yet, the fire station. Well, wherever we're going, we better get there first before... <coughs> Everybody beats us to it. Come on, let's go home and get my camera. Oh, boy! There's Mr. Frumble! All we need are some more watermelons, and we've got our story! I don't think we need melons. Look! Mr. Frumble! Watch out for the... Ow! Oh, my. <laughs> Mr. Frumble! Uh, Mr. TikTok! Watch out! I guess Mr. Frumble won't be our big story today because nothing's happening to him. I'd say that's pretty unusual. But we still need a story. Somebody dropped a key. We better take it to Sergeant Murphy. Maybe we'll find a story on the way. We should have gone to the fire station. Now Flossie's going to get an exciting story. Got any toes? Nope. Go fish. Excuse me, but aren't you expecting any fires today? Sure hope not. Well then, who do you think is going to win your card game? Nobody. We're missing four cards. Whoa. Hilda's going into Louie's restaurant. Why didn't we think of that? She's sure to hear the latest news in there. Hello, Louie. Tell me, have you heard any Pardon me? I can't hear you over all this noise. I said, have you heard any news? Your shoes? No, I haven't seen your shoes. Look, there's Sergeant Murphy. He looks pretty busy right now. We'd better give him the key later. But maybe we can interview him. Nah, Billy Dog beat us to it. Getting some good pictures, Billy? 
I've been standing here for an hour waiting and nothing's happened. Don't you ever see an accident or a speed? Whoa! Something? Oh, sometimes. But as you can see, things are pretty quiet today. If it's action you want, maybe you should try the fire station. Hello, Huckle, Lowly. Hi, Mr. Tick-Tock. My, my. If I saw two clocks with such long faces, I'd have to fix them. What's the trouble, boys? We're reporters with nothing to report. We looked all over town and can't find a story anywhere. I know just how you feel. I've been looking all over Busy Town for something today, and I can't find it either. Really? What were you looking for? The key to my shop. And I can't get in without it. Gee, that's terrible. Did you say a, a key? Like this? Why, that's it. That's my key. Wherever did you find it? On the sidewalk, right near your shop. Boys, I don't know how to thank you. Wait a minute. Yes, I do. Treats on me. Thanks. This almost makes up for not finding a story. But you boys did find a story. You found a key, walked all over town, and wound up sitting next to the person who lost it. That sounds like a pretty good story to me. And Miss Honey did say our story should be unusual. Mr. TikTok, would you pose for a picture with your key, please? My pleasure. Well, who found a story for our school newspaper? Not me. Unless you count falling asleep at the firehouse. Me either. I was at Louie's restaurant. My ears are still ringing from the noise. I spent a whole afternoon with Sergeant Murphy, and all I got was a sunburn. We found a story, Miss Honey, and it's pretty unusual. Why, this is a wonderfully unusual story, Huckle and Lowly. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Honey. Honey. Mom, Dad, Sally, look at our school paper. Well, would you look at that? The Missing Key by Huckle Cat and Lowly Worm. I didn't know we had two reporters in our family. Neither did we. Imagine that. Hi, Mr. Fixit. Do you know where we can find some treasure? Why, I've got a treasure right here, Huckle. The library's a place where you'll find a book. Newspapers, magazines, why not take a look? Maps and videos and audio cassettes. You can hear on stereo headsets. A card catalog shows you to the shelf. Ask the librarian if you can't find it yourself. Please don't shout. You might start a riot. People who read like peace and quiet. To take a book home is not very hard. All you have to do is show your library card. So take good care of the books you can get. Don't lose them, tear them, or get them wet. The librarian stamps your card to keep track of the date. Your books must be brought back. Please bring them back. We found a whole treasure chest, Mom. We're in Gibraltar. This is a busy seaport between Europe and Africa. Just look at all those ships. There's a container boat, a banana boat, and an aircraft carrier. Our cruise ship has stopped here to take on a cargo of cheese. You must throw Why, past there. Peppy Legang Stare and his dirty rats. They've escaped from jail. Better call Couscous the detective. But, boss, we cannot roll faster. But for us to escape, you must roll fast. Oh, we cannot row at all. You are sitting on the oars, boss. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oui. Hello, I am listening. Pepe and his gang of dirty rats have escaped, Couscous. You must capture them right away. They didn't even finish their dinner. Have no fear. For I, Couscous, the greatest detective in North Africa, shall capture them. Which way did they go? 
go have a look in the port of Gibraltar. Pepe shall not escape me this time. Faster. Swim faster, you dirty rats! I believe I am hearing the voice of Pepe Le Gangster. I must plan a plan. Hurry! We have no time to lose. We must find another boat to steal. Did you hear me, dirty rats? Oh, were well, you talking to us, boss? Yes. Are you not my gang of dirty rats? No, boss. Why not? Because we are nice, clean rats now. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh, no! <laughs> Silence! Listen to me, dirty rats. If we are to escape, we must find another boat. But, boss, can't we eat first? We're hungry. We haven't eaten since we last ate. This is no time for eating. It is time for robbing. We must steal a boat. Plan, plan, plan. Aha! I've got it! What is it, boss? I smell... I smell... If you smell a rat, that's just us, boss. No! I smell... Huh? You smell my cheese. Cheese? Mmm! I'm Lola, the cheese merchant. I heard you were hungry, and my cheese is the most delicious. Oh, yes, yes! yes. No, we do not want cheese. We want a boat. Oh? A boat? I have a boat. <coughs> you do? Yes, but right now it is filled with cheese. The most valuable cheese in the whole world. My lovely lady. This boat and this valuable cheese. It is over there. Oh! <laughs> A cheese boat. <laughs> <laughs> but that is just the problem. I am in need of help. Are you someone I can trust? Him? I am so afraid someone will try to steal my boat and my priceless cheese. Oh, who would dare? We would. Ah. <gasps> oh, kind sir. Could you, would you guard it? Leave everything in my hands, fair lady. Oh, I am so relieved. Wait, where are you going? To the cheese boat, madame. No, not yet. I must first check to see that all is in place. When the time is right, I will whistle. Like this. <whistles> While you wait, enjoy this cheese. Gee, boss, this is our lucky day. Yeah. <gasps> it is not spaghetti. My plan is, as they say, foolproof. <laughs> Let's go, boss. Please, we're starving. Wait until we hear the whistle. Then we steal the boat. And then, my oh. dirty rats, you will have all the cheese you want. Hooray! Wait for me. Steal this boat and the cheese. <laughs> what the? Who's close? These directors again. I'm sending you back to where you belong, Pepe. Prison. <laughs> Say cheese. And that is how Couscous, the greatest detective in all North Africa, caught Pepe La Gangster again. Where did he go? Play it 
safe. Come on, Lily. Let's go play tennis. I think you're forgetting something, Huckle. My racket? Nope. You forgot to brush your teeth. If you want a smile that's clean and healthy, you brush your teeth and brush them well. After every meal, with a soft, soft brush and a fluoride toothpaste or gel. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is how we do it. This is how it's done. We brush them up and down, front and back. Cause brushing teeth is fun. Once we're done with brushing, don't stop. We still have more to do. We gently floss between each tooth and watch that smile shine through. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is how we do it. This is how it's done. We brush them up and down, front and back. Cause brushing teeth. Clean teeth you have, Huckle. Mm -mm. Don't you think we should use some new decorations, Chief? We do use the same ones every year. Well, I don't know. We... Ah, here's our new volunteer firefighter, Mr. Frumble. Welcome, Mr. Frumble. Thank you for volunteering to help us. Rescues, fires, I'm ready to go, Chief. Well, uh, today we're going to start with something easier, like decorating for the annual firefighter ball. <laughs> no fire, no rescue. Come, come, I'm sure you'll have some original ideas. <laughs> A volunteer firefighter helps in any way that's needed. Whoa! Oops. Sorry, Chief. Oh, that's okay. Smokey, accidents happen. But I better get a clean uniform. And I better get us another cake. Come on, Sparky. I'm gonna need some help. Look at all this colorful paint. Mr. Crumble, could you please bring that ladder over here? The ladder is the firefighter's best friend. Oh, dear me. What's all that noise? Whoa! What happened to you, Chief? Another accident, I guess. Are you okay? Yes, thank you, Squirty. But it looks like I better go change my uniform again. We're gonna need some new lights. I'll run out and buy some right now. Could you please give me a hand with this, Mr. Frumble? Sure, Snozzle. Mm. It certainly smells good. It's Firehouse Punch, my secret recipe. I'll go get the cups. I better get back to work. Mr. Frumble, look out! Are you okay, Chief? I am, thank you, but this was my last clean uniform. I'll have to make a quick trip to the cleaners. Oh, no, my punch! I'll go get some more ingredients at the store. Well, time to decorate. And yeah, let's see. Hmm. Not so bad. Oh, my dear. The chief won't like that spot on the floor. I better clean this up. I guess that just about does it. All this decorating is making me awfully hungry. Better get the barbecue going. I wonder how many people are coming. Oh, well, better too much than not enough. That's what I always say. I'm sorry, Smokey, but we're out of raspberry twirl cake. Perhaps you'd like to try a chocolate coconut cake or a butterscotch ripple cake. I just don't know, Mr. Humperdink. Raspberry twirl is the chief's favorite cake. Why don't you give the chief a call and let him decide? Good idea! What's that ringing? Oh, dear. Oh, my. It's an alarm. It's a fire! I better call the fire department. Wait a minute. 
I'm a volunteer firefighter. Don't panic. Stay calm. Here I come. How come nobody's answering? Chief? If we're all here... Who's driving the... Mr. Frumble! That fire has to be around here somewhere. I'll try the radio. There must be something about it on the news. Now, which one is the right button? Oh, oh not that one. Maybe this one. Watch where you're going! Where is that fire? There it is! Where there's smoke, there has to be fire! <laughs> A barbecue fire. job decorating for the ball. Congratulations, Chief. This is the best firefighter's ball ever. Everyone does love the new decorations. I've been very happy being a volunteer firefighter, Chief. What do we do tomorrow? Oops. Whatever we do, now I'm prepared for it. 